Now, you can have a lot of time Thank left you. on the timer, but if a high water alarm goes off, which will stretch across these two contacts, it will tell you on the screen, high water drain filter. If you come up with a high vacuum alarm, it will tell you high vacuum service filter. If somebody were to crimp off that discharge hose, it will shut off instantaneously and tell you uh, high pressure. Yeah, too much check. Head pressure. Yeah, yeah, they'll tell you, check the hose. If it gets kipped off, crimped off, somebody steps on it or drives over it with a golf cart, it's an instantaneous. If that pressure hits 40 PSI, the unit's going to shut off, period. It protects the pump, protects the hose from blowing off. And this one is set for 20 minutes. So we're going to push the select button, the right and left arrow keys, Right and left arrow keys, select between fields, press select again, then the up and down arrow keys will select. The up and down arrow keys will, will scroll through the numbers available. When you've got it set, right now it's set for 120, we're going to press OK. Now this unit is ready to run. We have a bit of a restriction here on this 5 8 hose bar. Mm -hmm. You'll notice your vacuum is almost 10 inches or thereabouts. It would be a little bit lower than that if that were. Tight. Yeah, if that were three quarter all the way. Yeah, like I said, Mike, we're going to go ahead and make up some hoses. You'll notice this has jumped up to 16 inches just since we went in to the bottom of the tank. Right. In about four more inches or three more inches, this alarm is going to go off. And we're going to have to back flush the filter. Okay. You going up? No, not yeah, yet. Hair. Whoa. Seems to be holding pretty steady, Mike. Right? Now it's going yeah, up now. Yeah. Okay. Now there you go. Bingo. <laughs> no, I don't need it. You got it? Yeah, it's finger tight. So we're going to open the drain valve and we're going to open the bleed screw. Okay. Wow. That is a sample. Now. Okay. And we just drained. I don't know, half half a gallon maybe. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and In... now, if we turn the unit back on. Got to push the reset button. That resets the alarm. <coughs> There's another bottle when you need it. Okay. The way the filter is designed, the inlet comes in through the bottom port. Okay. Goes through all of its five stages, four stages of process down here. The filter is the last one. You've got about two inches of fuel above the element. So that goes back to the unit. So we open up the. Okay, I understand now. When we open up the uh, lead screw, it allows that clean fuel to go backwards through the element and knock all the, lock, knock a lot of that stuff off. I didn't realize the water <laughs> that you're taking out of here now is even more so pretty than the injectors. It's supposed to look good on top right. because... Hey, that cage top, looks like it's in the right place. The, the filter. came out with, with coming, <laughs> are at 35 to 40,000 PSI. So it's four you times. You know what, 35 on the series of yeah, 25. <laughs> Turn the <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, there's a little bit of moisture now on the record clips. It atomizes the fuel. And Look at that. Oh, oh baby. Nice. Hey, Jim. We'll gladly Jim. Here. Hold that. Take a picture of that.